welcome back to episode 4 of Lakeside Adventure here on my Let's Play Planet Coaster series. Um, if you've been following the episodes up to now, you'll know that we are well underway with the US section of, of the park. Uh, in the last episode, we themed the Flawless Roller Coaster Rush, um, themed it around the Mount Rushmore area of the US, um, just with Rocky Mountains um, and trees. And um, we also installed a flat ride at the end of the last episode, uh, a, giant, a giant hammer swing. Um, the plan for this episode, uh, as you can see from as you can see from what's on the screen, is we're building the entrance to the roller coaster uh, and just finishing off the details for that. Uh, my my aim is to make this. My my idea really is to make it sort of like a, a museum, uh, you know, a museum near near Mount Rushmore itself. Uh, so essentially, it's, you know, it is just going to be. A large building with with US um, flags and a few props inside, and and that's it. Nothing, nothing too over the top, um, but you know, but enough to make it a more exciting entrance, really. Um, so yeah, that that that's the plan for this building. Uh, just it's on two levels, and it also incorporates a bit of the queue line as well, just so the queue line is a bit more interactive. Um, obviously, if we're gonna do anything. Uh, with the US, it's got to be flags, flags, flags everywhere, and and that's what and that's what we're going for here. Um, the plan for the the plan for the rest of the episode after that is just a bit of just a bit of uh, detailing around the area. Really, it's not um, it's not going to be the longest episode in the world. This one, um, and it is a bonus to the one I released yesterday because I appreciate that one wasn't wasn't as long as my my other episode. So this is a uh, this is a two in one weekend. Really, I know I've said. Most of these episodes are going to be Saturday and Wednesday, but um, just with how just with how much I wanted to put in each episode, I didn't want to overload some episodes and then uh, have others that are really short. So I've tried to sort of equal them out, but I appreciate these two a little bit shorter. So I'll, I'll put these out both on the same weekend. Um, as you can see, you know we've got we've got the pretty much the shape of the building ready. Um, it's just a case of putting some uh, putting some more decoration. Down, so uh, here I am again with the flags. Uh, it probably is a little bit over the top, but you know it, it adds a bit of colour to the building, I suppose. Um, I don't, I didn't want to make the building colourful itself, the shell of the building, because I want it not not to be camouflaged, but to be sort of blend in with the area. And I think the colour that it is at the minute, um, it does actually do that. So uh, yeah, so we'll finish building this station um, so that the roller coaster is complete. And then we'll also uh, build a sort of cafe um, in the main area. So, as I mentioned, I think in the last episode, there's a section of the plaza um, to the side where I just want to put some buildings in just to get, bring the area to life slightly. Um, and I want to be able to blend in, uh, blend in shops inside buildings. So rather than just putting, rather than just putting shops down. And in one little square building, I want to put them inside a building that matches the area, blends in, and looks really, you know, looks really good. And then you go inside and you go, oh, look, you know, there's a shop or there's a cafe in here. And that, that's that's my plan for it, really. That's uh, that that is the aim, and uh, I, you know, hopefully, uh, hopefully that does come across well. Um, as you can see, that you know, the, this building is really starting to take shape now, and I, I do like I do like queue lines that kind of get you uh, get you involved before you're on the ride um, there's nothing worse than just standing in a queue line and nothing happening um, which is what I think a lot of a lot of rides in America especially down at um, Disney and Universal in, in Florida and um, what a lot of those do is the queue line is interactive so the last sort of half an hour of you queuing you're actually watching videos or engaging with props and it it makes queue lines go quicker. Now I appreciate in in, uh, in Planet Coaster the guests aren't really the guests aren't really monitoring that, but um, you know it's it's all part of the of the realism and trying to make it you know look as realistic um, for for us watching as uh, as much as it is for the guests. Um, obviously I want to get rid of the uh, supports here, which is what I'm just doing and just kind of blocking in the blocking in the actual station itself. Um, there there will be a, a small rectangle there of sort of just a void um just a void of nothingness um and that's that's just part of the uh that's just part of how it's been designed really um and yeah so it, it's you know I'll, I'll put this i'll put this flat roof on um 
and we'll, you know we'll see how it turns out really so uh, yeah I'll, I'll leave you on a bit of a, I'll leave you on the bit of a time ups while I uh, while I finish this off Hello. So uh, yeah, as you can see, I've, uh, I've kind of coming towards the end now of, of, of decorating this building. Um, just just a few different props here going on. Um, you know, a few windows to add, add, to add to the building. I thought I'd put the train on there um, as a sort of you know because it's a roller coaster essentially. Um, I just thought I thought the train sat really well on that roof. Uh, obviously, we've got the traditional clock on the wall there. And uh, I saw the confetti cannon with the US flag on it, and I thought I can't not use that. So uh, I had to put that as a as a trigger sequence towards the end of the coaster, so that once you get back in the station, you, get, you just get covered in confetti, and I think that works. Um, in here, I've gone for a, a bit of like it's, it's sort of like a um, I've, I've gone for a mix. Of, I know I was aiming for like a museum, but I've got a mix of like a train station in there as well. But I think it all sort of comes together nicely. It's not too overdone on any. Um, on any particular style but I think it does come together quite well um, just a few storage boxes here just for show just to add to the uh, add to the scenery really of the uh, of the building so uh, yeah I'm just kind of flicking through here and seeing what else I could put in that blends in uh, you know small little train station clock there I think does the job obviously we want um, a bit of lighting in here so that you know if guests come on here at night uh, they're not just <laughs> queuing up in the uh, in the dark in the uh, in the pitch black so just thought I'd dot a few lights around here just to kind of illuminate the place as uh, as best I could so um, yeah it, you know I'm, I'm really pleased with how it's starting to look um, as I say the with the with the train uh, painted in in the in the colors now in the track all inside the station it's you know it really is becoming the uh, the complete coaster so uh, yeah as you know as a building I think it blends into the side really well but it also does its job um, as a you know as, as an interactive station. So just down the side here, this is where I want to kind of segment off the US area from from the next um, from the next land that uh, I'll be putting into the park. So I thought the best way to do that was just kind of put a river down the middle. Um, and you know when we when we're done with the US area, we'll build a bridge um, over to uh, over to there. So. Um, I'm just going back to the station here. I've got. I'll just put a few more U.S. flags on the side just to bring a little bit of colour to the outside. Um, around the edge of the queue line, I wanted to fill it with fill it with these rocks, just so the guests aren't walking past. I know um, flat terrain. I know that we've kind of coloured the terrain to make it a rocky floor, um, but I just think the rocks bring really do bring it to life, um, which is what you know, which is why I'm I'm putting them in, and I think. When you uh, when you see what it looks like when it's done, I think you'll uh, you, you'll see what I mean. It, just putting some rocks in, although you know, although they don't add any 
anything as such it, it, you know and they don't take up that much space it really does improve just the way you know the area looks and uh, you know and that that's the aim that's the part that's the aim of this series is to go into that bit more detail and try and focus on that sort you know that sort of thing obviously there we're just covering up some more footers like i mentioned in the previous episode where we were doing that on the rest of the coaster um so yeah we're just going just going around the edge of here finishing off finishing off this bit of rockery um and uh yeah then once we've done that we'll uh, we'll start construction on the on the building uh, that will just sit next to the plaza now on this little bit of path here i want to have a sort of separate separate pattern path if that if you get what i mean on, along the side now it's very hard to do this in planet coaster with the with the pathing tool um as it is so this is the best way i can think of doing it is just having sort of it looks like it merges but it, it doesn't <laughs> essentially um so here's the construction on the on the sort of cafe uh building that we're going to put in it's going to be a sort of town hall um looking building it's going to have a, a mini clock tower and I'm just trying. I'm just trying to fit it in here because the uh, the takeaway place wouldn't wouldn't fit with the pathway it was. So I've just had to uh, I've just had to adjust that and uh, put this exit line back as best I can so that it all fits in. Uh, and just put the lamppost back. So um, yeah, the the building itself is going to be you know it's, it's going to be there mainly for decoration. It is only going to have the one place inside, but we are going to have a bit of seating in there. Um, as I say, it's going to have a it's going to have a clock tower, um, and at the bottom of that, it's just going to have a few um, a few mini clocks inside um, and a few cogs. So uh, I, I just want to try and make it an appealing place to um, to visit and ju just to have a bit of have a bit of life and uh, enthusiasm with some of the with some of the restaurants and shops along these buildings that I'm going to put along here. Um, in the in the next episode i will be putting a further building in here uh just with some souvenirs um etc so um but yeah so here you can see the decoration just going inside inside this building now i don't want to have I, I didn't really want to put writing all over the wall i thought the images did it better than writing um I, I just i just like the idea of walking in and um there being neon lights everywhere just advertising what is sold in there so yeah, I just think that sat really well there. Um, we just put in a, li a little ATM in. Realised we've not actually got an ATM in yet, so I thought if we put one just here alongside these shops, it would it would fit there really well. Um, just behind here, I don't I want to be able to fence it off uh, in some way, so I'm just trying to uh, find the best way of doing that here. As I say, th this this little square here above the ATM is going to be where the clock tower sits uh, on the town hall building. Um, so we'll just put a few uh, few cogs and uh, and working uh, working wheels there and uh, a, and a couple of clocks themselves, and then we will uh, we'll create the building um, and build it up and we'll see what it uh, see what it turns out like. Obviously, we need to put a, a front on this on this. Um, I, th I think it's a chief beef um, stop that I've put in there. Uh, I can't remember off the top of my head. I will have to uh, I'll have to double check that. But yeah, I think it's a, a chief beef. Um, so, th so this is the clock tower element um, just being built here. Uh, I'm not, it's, it's not going to be a massive clock tower because I don't want it to sort of interfere with the sight lines of, of the coaster from when you walk into the US area. Obviously, from from the entrance, you know, you can look over and see see the whole roller coaster as like a backdrop to the US area. I don't want the clock tower to kind of get in the way of that. Um, so, yeah, and here's here's some archways. Uh, just to uh, just to give the guests a nice little entrance to uh, to walk under as they um, as they enter the into the shops and enter this sort of mini retail area we've got going off. Um, you'll see that you see the design here. I I'll be honest. At the time, I didn't have. I, I was kind of building and just hoping for the best and hoping for a bit of inspiration. So there's a few chopping and changing um, here, but. In the end, it turns out it, it turns out really really well. I'm, I am pleased with how it's uh, how it how it does go. Uh, I just want to make the edge of, edge of these um, roofs here I just have a bit more character rather than just being flat. Because uh, although, although flat roofs do work, and as we've seen on the lakeside bar that we did in episode two, um, you know, uh, there's nothing wrong with a square building. I just think that not all buildings should be you know basic and square because 
it just it, they just don't have as much character so I, I really wanted this to sort of blend in with with the whole theme of the surrounding area um, which is what I'm you know which is what hopefully uh, you know I'm, I'm kind of achieving here so uh, yeah that's what that's what I'm uh, that's what I'm going for uh, just finishing off the top of this of this clock tower now uh, and, and the other thing as well is I think this will look really good next to the next to all the rides because it's it's kind of central. You'll see it from the roller coaster, from the train as you go past, from the hammer swing. Um, so I think having these buildings here is kind of really really important for the area just because it will you know really improve the the kind of aesthetics um, if you like of the you know of of the area itself. Um, this uh, obviously, obviously we, we need to put some sort of roof inside um, just to kind of um, make sure that the guests aren't looking at looking at a weird ceiling above. So we, we need to put a ceiling in, but then I wanted a sort of pitched roof on this little section. Uh, whilst the rest of it, the clock tower part will will still be flat. Um, I wanted the main building to be pitched just again because I think it I think it looks nicer if you can fit it on. So here's the clock faces just going uh, just going around the tower now, and now it now it's just a case of decorating the outside of this building, and um, yeah you know we're sticking with sticking with the usual windows doors, um, a bit of planting and yeah yeah it might you know it might it might seem a little bit repetitive. But I don't think you can put a building on here and not put windows and doors in because you were you know the the building would wouldn't look realistic at all. The idea of this is to have a building that doesn't look like it's got any purpose other than to, you know, to act as a decoration. And then you walk inside the front and you're like, oh, wow, this is a this is a cafe. That, that That's the aim. And hopefully that's what I've uh, that's what I have achieved. So, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll let you uh, I'll let you just watch the rest of this decoration and uh, I'll see you shortly. Right, so uh, there we go. Then there's the uh, we're, we're, you know towards the end of the planting now for for this building. And I think when we zoom out, it does it fits into the US area really well as a uh, as a sort of town hall. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, if you did, please leave a like and uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Here's inside the here's inside the cafe, which I think looks really cool now. So uh, yeah, once the guests are in, we'll see what they uh, see what they think of it. So thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.